Hello everyone, welcome to Facebook Live. I am Ruth Norton with Ruth's Stamping Corner. I have a really cute little penguin treat box that we're going to make today. It is so cute, it has a little tapered end and we're gonna be using a lot of new products on here so I'll show you those in just a minute. Before we get started with that, while we're waiting for everybody to come in, there are a few things that I wanted to remind you about. Card Crate registration ends on Friday, that is this Friday. Card Crate is my class to go this month it is, um, it's a class to go I do every month. It's a class in your mailbox. I feature a different product every month. This month we are featuring the hand pinned petals bundle. It is gorgeous. Um, card crate is $35. You get $20 in product and it gets shipped to you for free. So if you are interested in card crate, make sure you um, click the link in the video description. The last day to get in on that hand pinned petals card crate is this Friday. You must RSVP with payment by this Friday to be included in it. Okay, now celebration we are in full swing of celebration um there are three ways that you can benefit during celebration you can shop and with every 50 dollars you spend you're going to get a free item from this catalog um there are a couple hundred dollar items so if you um spend a hundred dollars you can choose one of our hundred dollar items but most of the items in here you're going to earn free with a 50 dollar order now if you have a really large order and your order is over 300 dollars maybe you pull a couple of your friends orders together you're going to get this stamp set for free just for free free gift because your order is over three hundred dollars or your party now the last way to benefit from paper pumpkin is i think the best way is to join stampin up join to be a demonstrator join my team and you will get to choose a free bundle from the mini catalog in your in your starter kit so these are the 12 that you get to choose from the most expensive one is 6025 that's a 60 dollar free gift basically to you but they are all a fantastic value so if you're interested in getting a discount on your products getting um lots of fun sneak peeks being part of a really fun team i encourage you to consider that starter kit. It is $99. You get to choose 125 in product, plus you get one of these free bundles. So fantastic, fantastic value. Don't miss out on it. It is a great, great deal. Now, the last thing I want to remind you of before we get to our card is um, my host code. This is August's host code. When you shop my online store with this host code, you will be sent a PDF with three exclusive projects. If your order is over $50, you're also going to get a make and take kit that coordinates with that PDF. And all who ordered over the last week, those make and take kits went out in the mail this morning. So if you've placed an order with me in the last week um, and it's been over $50, then your make and take kit is on its way to you. So you should get those in the next day or two. All right, so we are going to make, this is the project we're going to make. Now I have two here. I have one with a little purple penguin and I have one with a blue penguin. I'm going to talk about both of those in just a minute, but we're going to start with the box. It is a really cute little treat box here. It kind of tapers off on the end here. And I'm going to show you what's inside in just a minute. So let's make our box to begin with. So you'll need a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by seven. We're going to start on the five and a half inch side with our simply scored. We're going to score it three quarters, one and a half, uh, four, and four and three quarters. Now all of the measurements are listed in the video description, so you don't have to write them down. And they are also going to be all on my blog tomorrow, along with a diagram of how to um, score. And there's no cutting on this one. This is a no cut box, but there will be a diagram on how to score. So you can check out my blog tomorrow morning for that. All right, now on the seven inch side, we're going to score it at half an inch, one and a quarter, three and three quarters, and four and a half. Now, while it's in this position, we need to make a couple of, of smaller lines. So I'm going to, using my Simply Score, I'm going to do a score line at seven eighths, stopping at that very first score line. And we're gonna do the same thing at four and one eighth, stopping at that very first score line. So I hope you can see those score lines. So we just scored down to that first score line. So we scored like this. Now I'm just going to take it and flip it over and we're going to do the same thing at seven eighths and at four and one eighth. Make sure when you flip it over, you actually just pick it up and flip it over. So that half inch score line is still on the left side. If you take it like this and then you turn it like this, 
it's not going to be in the right places so you need to just pick it up and flip it like this your half inch score line needs to always be on the left hand side okay so that is part of our fancy scoring so we're going to finish the rest of our fancy scoring off of the scoreboard i'm just going to take a ruler and we are going to score from this intersection where the score lines meet up to that half score line that we did so we're just making a little point so from this intersection so we're making kind of a v we're going to do the same thing from this intersection so we're just scoring in that little square and we're going to do that to all four of them this is pretty simple to do you just want to make sure that you have a nice straight ruler and let's see if i can i hope those are showing up i'm not sure but they are so you're just scoring here and i'll use a pencil and just draw on so this is our score line and i'm just going to score just little points like that and like i said there will be a diagram on my on my blog in the morning so you can check out that diagram too now we're going to flip it over do the same thing to the other side just at that intersection to that half score line right there and one more square so you're just going to do it four times okay one more right there okay so that is all four of our little squares let me grab that pencil and erase these score lines just so they don't show i'm going to try to put those on the inside of the the box but we'll see okay so we're going to take a bone folder now and on all the straight lines we are just going to burnish all those straight lines okay don't worry about those little diagonal ones or the those little half ones those will come in handy in just a minute but we just want to burnish all of those now i told you there was going to be no trimming at all for this box and that's true this is just going to assemble just like this okay so what i'm going to do now with those um diagonal ones is i'm just going to go through and i'm just going to just kind of pinch them a little bit i'm not using my bone folder i'm just kind of programming them to bend the way I want them to bend once we get our box together. I'm not burnishing them, I'm just lightly folding them. And that will just help ensure that when our box goes together, they'll wanna do with what we want them to do. Okay, now on this half inch score line over here, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use some tear and tape for this. So let me grab that tear and tape. Okay, let me find my end. Okay, on the half inch score line, I'm gonna put some tear and tape on here like that now on the inside of the one closest to that half inch score line on just one side I'm just gonna put a little strip of tear and tape right there okay so that's on the inside this tear and tapes on the outside okay hope that all hope you're that's making sense all right so we're gonna take off the the backing off of our outside piece and we're just going to make sure that lines up top and bottom make sure score lines line up just like that give that a good press all right now on the side with the adhesive i'm just going to peel that off we're not closing up both sides because i don't want the box to be ripped apart when people need to get to the treat so now because we kind of coerced those diagonal score lines it should just kind of fold together you're just going to pinch the the top where we did that kind of partial score line and those sides will just kind of pinch together just like that isn't that cute so this side is going to be adhered shut and this side won't be so they'll be able to get their treat out on on one of the sides okay isn't that cute i love it all right now what goes in here i have a little reese's candy and that fits perfectly in there you can fit any number of treats in here but i thought the reese's was perfect isn't that cute okay now we're going to decorate it with some dsp this is dsp from the sweet little stocking um paper and i have a piece that is two and a quarter by two and a quarter and then i have two pieces that are two and a quarter by half inch and i'm just going to use some stamp and seal plus to adhere these down this will be on the front so this one just goes in the big section and then these little half inch sections just go on these smaller sections down here Okay, just like that. So cute. 
Okay. Now, we need to make sure we close this up because we don't want our treat falling out. So I'm gonna use some ribbon just to hold everything closed. And so I'm gonna tie some ribbon around. I have just a, your standard office hole punch here. And I'm just going to punch some holes. Just kind of eyeballing the center in this flat area right here. And I'm gonna, there we go. All right, now we're gonna take some ribbon. This is our, this is new in the holiday catalog. This is pool party striped ribbon. It is so fun. So I'm gonna start at the opened end, go through, wrap it all the way around, go through the back of that glued end. And then we're just gonna tie this into a knot. You can tie it into a bow if you want. I'm gonna keep it simple, just do a knot. And mostly because I don't wanna tie a bow on camera, but all right, there we go. And just get some scissors and trim those ends. Don't trim them too short because if whoever opens this, they might want to reclose it. So you wanna give them enough room to close it. So isn't that cute? So now we're ready to adhere it. <laughs> UPS is outside. He's not coming to my house, but my dog still thinks he needs to protect, so I don't know if you can hear all the barking, but if you can, I'm sorry. All right, let's talk about our penguin. Let me pull the, our penguin in, our little boxes in, so you can see what we're doing. So we have our penguin here. Now, I have punched him out. This is out of our ombre specialty paper. This is in our annual catalog. Let me find it. I'll pull it out here. This is beautiful paper. It's glittery. It's just gorgeous. You get... Um, some red, some purples, some blues, and some yellow oranges. And they're, of course, ombre, so they go from light to dark. And they are just gorgeous. So I'm punching my penguins out of here. So I'm using the new Penguin Place bundle. This is in the, the holiday catalog. So you want to grab the punch and the stamp scent. When you purchase them together, you save 10%. So we're using this. I'm going to use the, the little punch, and we're going to punch our little penguin. This time I'm using the blue. I've made um, about 16 of these over the weekend. I did half purple, half blue. So we're gonna do blue, so we just want his little body in blue. And then we want his little, the inside of his body. We just wanna punch that out in white. My goodness, I moved that card so actually you see what I did? I only punched half a body, so let's try that again. All right, much better. I'm going to move all these little trash pieces out of the way. We're going to hold on to this piece because we're going to stamp on that in just a second for our greeting. Now we do need some feet, so I'm going to use that punch again. Yeah, there's some little feet up here, so I'm going to punch two of those. So one, two, and this is with that ombre paper again. So we have two feet, and we have a little body and a little penguin body, a little two parts of the body. All right, let's stamp up our little penguin's face. For his eyes, I'm just going to use some black memento, and you can also, well, I, I would punch before you do this, just because it would be a little bit harder to, to get those eyes on straight, okay? Even though my eyes are a little, he's looking up, it's alright, he's got character. Alright, now for his little beak, I have some mango melody, and I'm going to stamp his little beak right there super cute and then for the greeting I'm going to use some gorgeous grape and then I just have to the coolest friend ever and that is from the stamp set and we're just gonna stamp that right along the edge of our paper because we're gonna cut it out pretty close so to the coolest friend ever love it all right, let's clear out all these ink pads and we are ready to assemble. Now, before we start assembling our penguin, I do want to talk about our little tag. So I have this little tag back here. Now, to make our tag, I've already pre-made this, but to make our tag, I cut out two of this shape. This is from our seasonal labels dies. This is also in the, the new mini catalog, the holiday mini catalog. I cut out two of those and then I just cut a little hilly border with our basic borders. So I just made a little kind of curved border that's stitched with our borders and then I just went around the outside with some pool party ink and my blending brush just to give it a little bit of color and that is how we end up with our little iceberg tag. So we have all of our pieces. I'm gonna just pull out my little mini trimmer real quick. We're gonna trim out this reading. All right, just trim off the ends here. So this is ready to go and we are ready to assemble. So I'm actually gonna use some liquid glue to assemble my penguin, but you can use glue dots or any other glue you want. So I'm gonna stick 
some glue on the back of him. I'm gonna stick him to the to that blue sparkle paper. So cute. And then I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue on either side for his feet. And I'm actually gonna use my take your pick tool to to pick up his feet because it is just a lot easier. These are tiny little feet. Take your pick tool is a dream. So there's our little penguin. He is so cute. So simple to put together. That punch is fantastic. Now for our greeting, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the center. And this is just going to go right along the bottom of our little, of our little hill there. All right, we're ready to assemble. So let me grab some dimensionals. All I have is little mini ones, but I just want just a little piece on the back of his head. And then on the very bottom of his feet, I'm just going to put a little bit of liquid glue because the bottom's going to hang over the, the little curved edge here. And that's already popped up on dimensional, so I just want to make sure that all sits on the same level. I'm going to set him down. Everything is adhered. And I'm going to cut a few more little edge pieces here. This will go right onto our box, just like this. Peel off those dimensionals. And this goes right on the front of our box. Oh, such a sweet little box. Isn't that cute? The little tapered end. It's just so unique, so fun. I think that anybody would love this little box. There's a fun little treat inside. So super cute, right, guys? I love it. All right, guys, that is it for me. Remember to join me in my VIP group on Sunday, this Sunday, 9 a.m. Mountain Time. I am doing Celebration Sundays. All through Celebration, I'll be featuring a different, a new, fun, different product from our Celebration catalog. This weekend, we're going to talk about the Counting Sheep stamp set and the sheep dies, and that's what we're making. It's going to be super cute. Um, so join me Sunday in my VIP group. If you're not already in my VIP group, there's a link in the comments. You can join my VIP group, or in the video description, there's a link. So you can join my VIP group and be part of Celebration Sunday. This will be on my blog tomorrow morning. If you're on Facebook, I'd love it if you share this video with your friends. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you need to place an order, here is the host code for August. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.